Good morning. Is that Chris Grayling's office? Yeah, I'd like to speak to Chris, please. He's not taking calls. Is he in his office? Yeah, is he with anyone? No. But he doesn't want to take calls. Okay. Um, well, Boris has asked me to give him a call, so can you just put me through, please? Who am I? I'm Liam Perkins. I'm the psychotherapist who was brought onto Boris's team ages ago when he became Prime Minister to be motivation to his men and women that are fighting in the trenches against all the bad things that are happening, like Brexit and pandemics. So uh, put me through. Thank you. Hi, Chris. How's it going? It's Liam. We've spoken before. Yes, you remember. The ferries. Yes. No, no, Chris, stop crying. Chris, stop crying. Come on, grow some balls. You don't have any balls. We all know that, Chris. You're a limp, wristed tosser. But you have balls. They're there, have a look. Well, you actually don't have balls. Why? Vasectomy. Mate, you've still got your balls. Vasectomy just takes a couple of tubes, snips them, ties a little knot, one in each testy. So your balls are still there. Have a look now. Unzip in your office. I'm sure you're used to that. Yeah? Right, have a feel. They're there, right? You need to get them bigger. Stop, Chris, please, stop crying. You're the only one what? You're the only one. You keep just repeating, I'm the only one, I'm the only one. For fuck's sake, Chris, grow up. You're 58. Oh, God. Okay, you've stopped. Right. You're the only one what? Okay. So, Boris promised... Let me get this right. Boris promised everyone who stood behind him on Brexit a big, powerful job. Yeah? And you're the only one that doesn't have one, which is why he put your name forward for this chairman of the committee thing. Okay, I understand that. Now, firstly, when has that living toadstool ever made a promise that has come true? Think about that. Never, no, never, never ever. So you need to just, in the words of Taylor Swift, shake it off, mate. Shake it off. Start again. He'll try and get you something somewhere. Big job, yes. You're a fucking MP, isn't that big enough? Look after your constituents. People in Epsom and Yule aren't going to vote you in again, mate. After all your fucking issues. So, motivationally, enjoy it now. Yeah? Enjoy it now, mate. I know, like, even your wife says you're useless. Jesus. Stop crying, Chris, stop crying. Chris, Chris, stop crying. Chris, click. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm worried. I'm worried for the lot of them. <laughs>